Tennessee Turtle Farms in Pear Park, Louisiana. We have the wonderful privilege today to be able to spend a day in the life of a turtle farm. What is a turtle farm? Well, a turtle farm consists of several ponds, like the one we're standing in now. In these ponds are thousands of adult turtles, like the one I'm holding in my hand here. And they're filled in the ratio of about three female turtles to one male turtle. Every summer, these turtles will breed together and the females will lay their nests on the shore. Each female will lay about three nests a season in the size of about eight to ten eggs. It's up to the turtle farmers to collect the eggs and set them in the incubators. The process of collecting the eggs is a two-part process, and that is the collection process done here at the ponds and the incubation process done back at the buildings. Every day, the turtle farmers have to go through this process of collection and incubation in order to raise the turtles to be able to sell them. We have the wonderful privilege today to be able to follow this process step by step. The first step in the process of harvesting turtles is to locate and then dig up the nest. In order to locate a nest, we look for recently dug dirt, something that may indicate that a turtle has recently buried eggs in that area. As you can see right here on the ground, we have an area that looks like it's been loose. It may be a nest because it's loosely covered dirt packed back down maybe by a turtle. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig it up and try to see. As we dig, you just hit the dirt around like you would normally suspect, but be very careful not to disturb any eggs that may possibly be in the area. As you dig up the nest, always have a mind for eggs. When you see them pop up, you can just gently overturn the dirt around them. You may have to use your hands on occasion. And then gently bring up the eggs to the surface. The next step in the process of harvesting turtles is to collect the eggs, or what we call pick the eggs. When you come upon a nest that's already been dug, you can take your basket and you fill it with the eggs, being very careful to place the eggs gently so as not to disturb the baby turtles that are forming inside the eggs. You just pick them up one at a time, put them in the basket, check around the bottom, make sure there's no more eggs that could possibly be in the area, like these that I just uncovered. After there's no more eggs, you can pick up your basket and go to the next one. After the eggs are picked up, the next step in the process is to recover the hole so the turtles don't know you've been here. In order to do that, we just knock all the dirt back into the hole, like you would normally suspect, and we basically just fill up the hole. Put all the dirt in, step on it to pack it down, make sure all the loose dirt is pulled in. The turtles do not like loose dirt. Pull all the loose dirt in, make sure that it's nice and firmly planted to the ground and you can move on to the next nest. We're back here in the building where we're going to continue our, our process of harvesting turtles with the incubation process. The first step in the incubation process is the careful cleaning of the eggs. I'm here right now with Ashlyn as we're demonstrating the process of cleaning the eggs. Very carefully, we're washing with a very gentle stream the dirt off of the eggs. If any dirt were to get inside the boxes during the incubation process, it could cause fungus to grow on the eggs, thereby suffocating them and all the turtles would die. Notice how after she cleans one side, Ashley's going to put on this tray to make sure that the eggs do not fall out. She flips the tray over and then she cleans the other side of the basket. After she's sure that no dirt is on the eggs, we can continue on with the process. The incubation process continues next with the drying of the eggs. Now we have to be careful through this whole process not to move the basket too much and jar the eggs and possibly cause the turtles not to hatch. In order to dry the eggs, what we're going to do is we're going to start by grabbing the basket in our hands like this. And we're going to run our hand across the bottom of the basket. By running our hand across the bottom, we ensure that all the water droplets that have gathered will be shaken off and we just make sure all the water comes off. After we make sure all the water is off, we're next going to take the eggs very carefully into the drying room here behind me. In the drying room, there's a mixture of fans and dehumidifiers that help to make the room a very, very dry place and will dry the eggs very, very quickly. The incubation process continues next with the careful packing of the eggs. The first step in packing eggs is to take your Tupperware container and to put some water in it. We're going to take about three quarter cup of water and pour it into the bottom of the Tupperware container. Now that we have the water in place, 
we want to take these little metal pieces and we call them ramps. And the ramps are designed to make sure that the turtles in the basket, that the eggs stay out of the water. If you allow the eggs to sit in the water for the whole incubation process, they would wind up rotting and the turtles would die. So we want to make sure that the eggs are out of the water. After the ramps are in place, we're going to take the baskets. Two baskets fit in a container. So we're going to put one basket in right on top of the ramps. We're going to take another basket and sit it right on top of that one. And we're just going to let them sit just like that. The next thing you do is we're going to take a piece of tin. Now this is a very special piece of tin. You can see it's got a gentle curve on it. We're going to make sure the curve goes bent over the turtles. And the purpose of this is to make sure that as the water evaporates in the container, that the water droplets that form will roll off the sides of the tin and not directly onto the eggs. Again, we want to keep them moist, but we don't want the water being directly on them so they don't rot. So we're just going to set our piece of tin right on top. After the tin comes a little piece of cloth. Take a piece of cloth that's the size of a Tupperware container and you lay it completely over the whole thing. And the purpose of this is to keep out any bugs that may come, any flies or mosquitoes or gnats or any type of bug that may come around. After that, we're going to go ahead and put on the cover of our container. Now you need to make sure that the turtles in the eggs can breathe, so we're going to punch a couple holes into the lid to make sure that the air circulates. And then we're just going to seal it shut right on top. And there you have it. The turtles are packed and ready to be put in the incubation room. Once the turtles are packed in the container, we now move into the incubation room. Now the incubation room is a special room where we keep the temperature constant at 82 degrees Fahrenheit. To do this, we use a mixture of fans, heaters, and air conditions in order to make sure that the temperature remains constant at 82 degrees. All we do in the incubation room is we simply take the eggs and we place them on the shelf. Once the eggs are placed on the shelf, we then wait a period of about 60 to 90 days, depending on your breed of turtle, for the eggs to hatch. The last step in our process is to uncover all the baby turtles. After the designated time has passed for whatever breed of turtle you're working with, you can pull out your container and you can remove the lid. After you remove the lid, you can then reach inside and pull out your tray with all of your baby turtles. Well, there you have it. The interesting day in the life of a turtle farmer. I hope you had a wonderful time today, as did I, in this wonderful educational experience that we had. I would like to wish a special thanks to Mr. Paul A. Bear, owner of AC Turtle Farms, for allowing us to come and spend a day in his life. Maybe next time when you see a, a turtle on the side of the road, you'll think of the wonderful time we had today and maybe think about us turtle farmers down here in Pierre Park. Well, that's all for today. I hope you all had a wonderful time. We'll see you next time.